On Thursday, March 8th, the Akron Zips men's basketball team traveled to Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland to play Eastern Michigan in the Mid-American Conference quarterfinals tournament. The number 11 Akron Zips entered the match with a 14-17 record. The number 3 Eagles entered with a 20-11 record. The Zips got off to a strong start, putting up 10 unanswered points over the first 4 minutes, 54 seconds of the match. The Eagles returned with 3 straight baskets. With 13 minutes and 19 seconds left in the first half, Jamon Ivey extended Akron's lead by 6 with a 3-point field goal. Eastern Michigan would then come within 3 points. With 8 minutes and 16 seconds left in the first half, Eastern Michigan cut Akron's lead to just 15-12. Akron then returned with a jumper and a 3-point field goal to extend their lead over the Eagles once again. With 4 minutes and 49 seconds left, Akron extended their lead by 9 over the Eagles. The Eagles and the Zips would then both go to score 7 more points, allowing Akron to take a 9-point lead into halftime. They led the Eagles 31-22 at halftime. To start off the second half, the Zips extended their lead by 12 points. For almost 6 minutes, Akron's defense held Eastern Michigan to scoring no field goals. This allowed Akron to extend their lead to 47-28 with 12 minutes, 30 seconds remaining of the game. Over the next minute of the game, Eastern Michigan would score 7 points and hold Akron to no points. Eric Parrish would then score for the Zips to end this run for Michigan, putting Akron up 49-35. Eastern Michigan would then put up 11 unanswered points to tie the game at 57 with 3 minutes and 15 seconds of the game left. With 2 minutes 23 seconds of the game remaining, Eastern Michigan took their first lead of the game with a layup and a free throw. Malcolm Duvivier put the Zips back within 2 points with a free throw at the 1 minute 59 second mark. The Eagles finished the tournament outscoring the Zips 7-0. Eastern Michigan defeated Akron 67-58, ending Akron's season. Here is head coach John Gross with his thoughts on the Zips' performance. Uh, obviously two uh, odd games for us this week. You know, one where you're down 23 and come back and win, and this one where we're up 19 and, and not quite able to finish them off. Um, I know part of that is March, uh, but it was uh, two obviously two completely different games that swung one our way, one that didn't. Uh, today I thought our first half was terrific. I thought it maybe is about as good as we played all year. You know, we get up 19 with 12 and change, and I just don't think we did the things that we needed to do to finish it. Obviously, we turned the ball over nine times in the second half. Uh, I thought that came back to haunt us. I thought their press bothered us a little bit and, and it got, got us in situations where we weren't able to get into offense as quickly uh, as we needed to, uh, and that disrupted our rhythm a little bit. Uh, but with that said, on the offensive end, you know, defensively is where uh, they made their comeback and where they, you know, where we lost the game. They shot 62% from the field in the second half. They were 13 for 21 from the field. Uh, we had problems guarding the bounce, and uh, they got a ton of free throws. Uh, ended up going 19 for 22 from the line. That differential, uh, which they earned, um, you know, I thought determined uh, was a big determining factor as well. Um, you know, proud of the guys, the way they played the last month. Um, you know, we, um, you know, I made the comment that, and I joke around with them, I didn't know how much I liked being around them on the court about two months ago. They came a long way over the course of the last month. We've played our best basketball. Uh, obviously disappointed today that we weren't able to finish this one out after playing, you know, really well there for about 30 minutes. Um, but we're, you know, obviously these two guys up here, um, you know, one of the things I've preached to the team all year and been consistent with has been effort, attitude, coachability, and toughness. And um, over the last month, we've had that quite a bit. I think that's why we've played well. Today, we didn't have a couple of those things when we needed them, um, in particular the attitude piece, and that's unacceptable. Um, these two guys up here embody in a lot of ways um, those four areas and did today again. Um, really proud of Malcolm and the way that he's grown from the time that he came to the University of Akron until now as a person, as a student, and as a player. And he can certainly elaborate on it, but I think he's transformed quite a bit and really become better in all three areas. And I'm really proud of him for that. He's had a heck of a college career. I wish we could have finished it off today uh, for him and given him another day to play uh, tomorrow. And then obviously Dan is – you know, guy that's given us everything he's had all year, played out of position due to injuries and some different things that we've had to go through and doesn't bat an eye. Um, coachable, uh, effort, attitude, toughness, uh, doing what we need him to do. You know, I really appreciate, as I've said this week in the media, I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to coach him. And uh, obviously he's a big part of our future. I think in the first half, you know, our, our, 
the offense was stemmed off our defensive ability. You know, we we're really locking on defense, and you know, we held them to 22 points in the first half. And you know, I think that just you know having getting stops and getting steals led to you know transition baskets, and um, you know, and you know, we, we kind of got them out of their zone a bit, and we we're able to you know score off our defensive stops. So, and then going into the second half, you know, I think we just didn't have the same edge, you know, on defense that we would had in the first half. So, um, you know, so and then, you know, credit to them for, you know, making a comeback, making a lot of big plays. I just think, you know, we just didn't make the plays that we need to make on defensive end, that, which led to, you know, a little bit of poor possessions on the offensive end.